It's the loudest it's ever been since I've been here. That was a great atmosphere, great culture for the team. Great. I love the fans. Thank the fans for coming out. It was an amazing feeling. And you guys on the back end were tested tonight pretty often and, and significantly. How did you feel about the way you guys held up throughout the entire game? I feel like. I feel like we could have we played good football, but I feel like we could have did better because we, we we gave them a lot of things that we shouldn't give up. We was playing a lot of soft coverage. We weren't matching a lot of routes, but we gotta get back to the drawing board, start over, and do what we gotta do. You guys were flying around. Um, obviously, there were some tough flags thrown by the refs. Is it is it tough to you know you're trying to watch your aggressive level while going 100 percent, all of that stuff? Is that is that a tough deal? I mean, no, nah, we like. Plays like that, we just got to deal with it because we, we got to play hard, play play to the whistle, finish on the ball. And, I mean, it was a great play. It's just a bad call, I guess. <laughs> I mean, Cam, he in my prayers, he in my heart. He the heart and soul of the team. He, he really... He really brings it. He really want to win. He really want to change the culture here. Doesn't like losing. That's one guy I love playing next to. You know why? Because he pushed me. He, only, he Not only pushed me, he pushed everybody around me to be great. He want us to be great. He want us to be better than what we already is. So a guy like Ken, that's an amazing guy. I love him to death. That's my boy. I was just telling him, look at me, keep your eyes open, breathe, you okay. It's okay. He was just telling me he wanted to finish. I know you want to finish, but just breathe. Understand where you at and Did just he breathe. Was, he was talking to you. Yeah, he was talking to me. How does he, how does he feel about you? He was great. I mean, he, he good. He good. I mean, I really don't think it mean nothing because that was that, that was a shocking for the the world. It wasn't shocking to us because we put in all the work to get to where we want to be today. We we grinded. We brought the culture back. We changed everything that was negative about Miami. So we, I feel like it wasn't a, shock, a shocking. That was if we start shooting ourselves in the foot, we'll win every game. Honestly, if you want me to be honest. Guys, guys have talked about the culture and turning around. And I mean, the work was already put in before we even, like, I don't think it was the work. It was more the mindset we had going into each and every game. So mindset different. We feel great with our bodies. We feel amazing. We feel like we we ready to go on to the next and one week at a time. I want to know. I mean, you see a lot of pressure on the quarterback. Ain't too much he could do. So. Gidry, Gidry, he the one. He the one that showed. He showed us the way. On the top of our, our playbook is the talk, run, hit. That's the main things we got to do. Forget the play call. Forget anything else. Talk, run, hit. And that's what we did tonight. And we showcased that and got the win. I mean, when I was growing up, everybody remember the only thing I wanted to see was Miami win. So that's all they want to see. Everybody want to come to Miami. They just want Miami to win to come to Miami. So once Miami winning, you see nobody nobody doesn't want to deny Miami. Miami is Miami. Everybody want to be here. 305 is back. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you all.